Hi, it's Mika Fast and Weight Loss, and today I'm going to talk about snake diet refeed meal after 48-hour fast. Um, I'm going to tell you now it's not going to be a happy meal. It's going to be a disturbing meal, um, and I just decided this morning that I'm just going to share it. Um, I don't feel bad. I just want to say what happened, and Tommy, I apologize for not making the video yesterday, okay? I will start with what Tommy did. This is the, the better news, and I'll save the bad news to the end is which what I did. Okay, so Talking Tommy Takes Action had a refeed after our 48-hour snake diet fast. He had a tuna fish lettuce wrap with cheese, a Diet Coke, and a chicken breast. Um, that was an excellent refeed. Later, he, I don't know how many hours later, I guess neither one of us really did an OMAD. We did more of a short intermittent fasting window. And this is from what we did on Monday, okay? So he had maybe half a cup of um, like those flakes with almond clusters, cereal, half a cup and a little bit of milk with that. And that's what he ate for Monday. And he did 30 minutes of running and 10 minutes of jump rope. I think you did amazing. And I believe, even though it wasn't all the way OMAD, you stuck under your 100 carbs and you did good. Um, let's see, what did I do? So Saturday, I was supposed to go to my dinner date, but they canceled because they weren't feeling well. Um, so we rescheduled for Monday because that was my next refeed. And they wanted to go to a barbecue place that I've never been. So I went online. I was like, I'm going to be able to handle this. So I went online and I chose what I was going to have. Um, so it was going to be barbecue chicken, lamb ribs, beef ribs, and roasted broccoli um, and garlic. That's what I was going to eat, okay? So then something happened where we kind of canceled it again. However, somebody, one of my friends called me and said, where are you at? I was like, I'm at work. So they came by and talked to me and they were like, oh, there's a new restaurant. Oh no, that's the wrong day. I don't know how this happened, but I ended up at that same restaurant with someone else. And when I got there, I had already knew what I wanted to eat there, but it did not happen that way. So I'm really just going to tell you guys what I had because I don't have to hide stuff. I could just share it. Like this is my life and I just want my channel to be for documentation of my journey to my goal from 273.2 to 183.2, which is a 90 pound loss. My highest weight ever is 297. I'm 42 and I'm five eighths and three fourths. And I have an eating problem where I could eat so much food and I don't know. Anyway, so... <laughs> I got, we decided to get a bunch of different stuff and split it because neither one of us have been there. So this is what we got. We got, and I wasn't going to get the carb stuff, but then it just flew out the window and I just went regular as if I was just doing an OMAD that I didn't care. Okay, so this is what we split. We both had our own side of coleslaw. We split half of the barbecue chicken, half of the beef lamb, ha I mean, half of the beef ribs, half of the lamb ribs. Um, some potato fries, um, and salmon dip with baguettes and everything was amazing. I felt fine. And this was breaking a dry fast. This is unhealthy. It's not okay. Do not do it this way. Um, that's not how you break a dry fast. Okay. I was probably 18 to 20 hours dry fasted. Okay. Um, I also had lemonade so bad. Um, so then, and it's bad, to, this is bad to my standards, but it's not a bench to me, even though it's going to sound like it. Cause, okay. So then we had dessert. I had half of a carrot cake, half of a brownie and a full and a scoop of ice cream. And I told the person that the problem that I have is I'm not done because I want a Sunday. So I went to the gym and I picked up my kids before it closed. I actually went in there and walked also at the gym for 25 minutes around the track. Then I left there and I got my ice, my favorite ice cream place, which is on the way home from the gym. I got a large caramel sundae. Um, no, I got a caramel sundae and a concrete. So I got two ice cream things from there after I already ate that big meal. I don't understand. I really don't understand it. And I'm not like... 
I don't, I'm not even going to try to talk about, um, I don't even know if I'm going to read comments because I'm just wanted to say it and I don't want to think about it a lot. I just want to get back to what I'm doing and I am, um, I didn't, oh, I can't say what I did yesterday because Tommy's going to make today's video and my weight. Um, I'm going to send him my weight and what exercise I did and what I ate yesterday. So this is Monday's accountability. Um, I just don't feel bad because this is my struggle and I'm working on it and I don't have any excuses and I just am feeling fine. So, oh, so the exercise I did, I did the live, ooh, I did the live stream too. Okay, so I did the one hour, before the live stream, I did the one hour elliptical, 35 minutes in the sauna, and I did 15 minutes walking by the river, and then I came home, I did the live stream, you guys saw, um, doing the Adrian Bryant um, workout, that was probably 40 minutes. And then I did 25 minutes at the track in the evening. I did a lot of exercise and I know you cannot work off a bad diet. It is from me. It I forgot what is my formula. I need to write it down because for me, it's about 50% mental, 40%. Okay, that's not even right. I don't know. I can't edit this. I'm going to get a mammogram. Then I'm going to work. Then I have a counseling session for one of my children. And then I have to do someone's highlights of their locks. And then I have to go to the gym. And it's a busy day. And that's it. Thank you. If you watched all the way to the end, I really appreciate it. We put like a heart emoji in the comments so that I know that you watched. I think I'm tough enough that I will read the comments because I don't really care today. I don't care about any kind of feedback um, that's negative. And those of you that are positive, no matter what I, what I do, I really appreciate it. And... Yeah, I'm going to complete this 48-hour fast, and today is going to be a more sensible cooked-at-home refeed, God willing. And I will be sharing those pictures tomorrow of everything I eat. Talking Tommy Talks. Tom, talking Tommy. Pretty water. At the trail, taking a walk. Here's the meat that I have. This was all I... This is all that I was going to show, but I decided just to be more transparent. There's also brisket there. I forgot to mention that. Um, here I did the elliptical at a very high resistance because I want it to be more of a strength training. And I did that for an hour and five minutes at the gym. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for your patience and understanding that I just want to document my journey. And it's not going to be pretty sometimes. And that's it.